Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, as promised, I'll be showing you what's inside my caboodle so that you can see how much space it has inside and also um, what a good organizational um, tool this is for your cosmetic products. So let's go ahead. All right. So again, we have one, two, three compartments. And before I put on all of the products inside their bins, I did line them with a rubber liner from the Dollar Tree just to give at least minimal protection for the makeup when I'm on the go, as well as, you know, make it a little bit more insulated <laughs> so that it won't be too noisy when it gets shaken. So again, the bottom compartment or the bottom bin is where I put all of my face makeup. So recently I have been a fan of Krylon Professional Cosmetics because they are used for theater, film, and TV. So definitely, you know, they, um, they deliver when it comes to their products. So um, again, this is my huge Krylon translucent powder for finishing my makeup, which is really cool. I have this in TL11, that's the color. And even though I put it right there, I still have enough space at the back for all of my false lashes. And then I have here my Revlon Photo Ready um, two-way foundation. So when I'm in a hurry, this is what I put on. And as you can see, I'm already panned out. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and purchase a new one soon. So this one, I just put in my tinted moisturizer and then also put in my um, face primer and then blot this with a flat brush and I'm good to go. I also have here my hair clip to part my hair when I'm doing my makeup. And then I also have my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. Um, this is actually the full tube that we have here so it's big so you can see how much space Caboodle really has. I have my Beauty Balm from MAC Prep and Prime. It's their BB Cream. I also have two bottles of MAC fluids right here. I have my Charged Water and I also have my MAC Fix Plus at the back. And then right here we have my Smashbox Photo Finish Face Primer. I love this product. Now um, here is my liquid foundation from MAC and then I also have my EOS lip balm then there's my sponge then I have my blot powder from MAC my MAC MSF and my MAC blush which is in peachy keen I don't know if you can see the color but it's really beautiful and now I also have here with me my oil control film. We don't want oily faces showing outside when we're going out, so make sure that you pack them, ladies. Now, I also put in a couple of Q-tips right there, just in case I need to make corrections here and there when I'm doing my eye makeup. So that's about it on this bottom part. And you can see there's still a lot of space right there. Even though I have all those huge bottles and tubes and containers right there. So just in case in the future I decided to add on more products, I still have room for it. I don't even have to worry. So moving forward, we have here on this compartment. Um, I know that you're just supposed to put like lipstick or... Um, mascaras or lip glasses on this particular compartment but what I did was that I placed all of my travel sized brushes from Sigma on this side rather than using my full size brushes <laughs> they're sitting right there I used my travel size brushes more often because they're easier to clean and apart from that they're easier to reach because they're just right in front of me I don't know how lazy I am, but <laughs> you can see the distance, but I prefer just using these. 
So I also have a mini uh, version of the Mac 188. This is called a Boom Make. Um, this is my buffer brush from Everyday Minerals. It's like dense enough for you to be able to control it for blending, but it's soft enough not to scratch your skin. It's really soft on top, the white part. And I also have my Sonia Kashuk eyeliner brush. So that's just about it on this part of the container. Now moving on, now if you remember, uh, we have this lid right here with the Hello Kitty decal and we opened it. It actually houses all of my eye makeup, lip products, and just one of my blush blushes. So there's my NARS um, blush in Orgasm. Here's my Smashbox for Tokidoki, and this is in Modella palette, or the Modella palette. This is my holiday collection from MAC, which is called Seven Eyes. Seven Eyes, and it's in the Neutral palette. I've penned out two of those already, but I'll try to get one soon to replace those. Um, I have here my MAC pigment in vanilla for my highlights, my um, concealer, and I always bring this with me, my carbon eyeshadow for lining my eyes or for doing like really dramatic smoky eyes. Then here is my Duo ad Lash Adhesive, then my Maybelline Eye Studio, which I really hate. This runs a lot and it's really horrible even if you have your eyelid primer on. My Lash Blast Fusion from CoverGirl. My Sonia Kashuk Pencil Sharpener, which is really good. You should get it. It's from Target. Um, for my lip products, it usually just revolves with these four lipsticks right here. These are actually discontinued. This is True Shine from CoverGirl in um, blush berry shine and I believe this one is cinnamon shine so the, this one is a little pinkish blush berry and this one is more natural looking now if I want to look really angelic this is what I use from Revlon um, this is what they call just enough buff and if I want to go like really um, naughty <laughs> Um, this is my MAC lipstick in Diva, so that's a really deep red color right there. Okay, so I don't know how to close this with one hand, but let's do it faster. So basically, that's about it on that compartment and on this tray right here, which I've seen usually from other YouTubers, they take this out, but for me, I'm not really a big fan of liners. I just have a couple, so I put them there. So um, this is my brown and my black eyeliner from Everbolena from the Philippines, which is really good. Um, this is my lip brush, the travel size that comes with Sigma. My cream stick liner in Sublime Culture from MAC and my 970 and 121 liners from Krylon. And this is my small angled brush from e.l.f. for my eyebrows. So you see, I've almost run out of breath just telling you about my everyday makeup that I have here. And still, I have a lot more space to carry products. So if you have any questions, guys, just shout out at the comment box and thank you so much for watching um i hope that you know i'll receive more comments from you guys and i'll see you on my next video enjoy